called. He was going in there repeatedly, and break-ins was used, burglaries was used yeah. for the neighborhood throughout. Solid it's, it's sustained because that's Mr. McMichael's statement, and he's already testified that he did not follow up on that. So it's sustained. Okay. You did not follow up to try to determine if a burglary had been committed at 220? Objection. Once again, formal question. On what day? He's on already testified to what he did, and you've asked him, it was either you or Mr. Well, why I'm so confused. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please take a step outside. Mr. Sheffield, you can agree or disagree with this court. That is your prerogative. But to act in the way that you just did in front of this panel, disrespect, I don't care whether you like my rulings or not, or you like me or not, but in this court, the Superior Court, it is axiomatic that counsel show at least respect for what the court is doing. And what you just did shows a lack of respect for what the court is trying to do here, which is create an environment which is fair to all parties. I would suggest that you take a moment to think about that. I'm going to step off the bench because I found that, um, I'll just call it rude. All right. Um, I have tolerated a number of things in the courtroom, including, you know, flip charts, writing in the middle of, I mean, the, the jury gets distracted when you were doing the flip charts here, jumping up and moving the boards. Um, I would suggest that you temper uh, some of that very quickly um, because it will not be tolerated in this court and um, I, um, I will leave it at that. I do not need an explanation. I do not need an apology. None of that. But I would suggest that we take a moment and think about the way that you're reacting to the court's uh, instructions. We're in recess. Thank you.